they are indeed getting up and playing but I am doing exactly what Tristan was doing which was getting all the vehicles sorted and into position but we seem to be on top of things for now <laughs> these cubs it's so special because the last few times the sort of the times that I spent with the Inkuhumas the cubs were they they were fully recovered from their white muscle disease and that, this is quite a long story but we'll, I'll try and keep it as short as possible. Suffice to say during the drought the cubs were not well at all and two of them actually didn't make it. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get into trouble. <laughs> and six of the cubs did survive but for a long time they were very mangy and not very healthy at all and when we did see them they weren't playful. They were skittish and hiding in thickets and they just weren't themselves which is why I'm so happy <laughs> to see them playing like this it's really lovely really really special Now Mary, you want to know, while we watch our cubs playing in trees, you want to know in a pride who leads the hunting. Um, you will find that all of the lionesses will take initiative. Um, often the older female will be the one with the most experience and she'll know how to go about the whole thing and the whole process. But I've noticed particularly when you get young females of just reaching adult age, they often initiate the hunt. But there's no set leader. There's no set line that takes responsibility each and every single time. These lions work so well as a team. They don't need a leader. They just know what's expected of them. It's phenomenal to watch. Everybody just seems to know where to go. And that, of course, comes from hours of play like this, getting to know each other so well that they can predict their every move. Now, often what you'll find is that these cubs at this age, they want to help. They really, really want to help. Their instincts tell them to help with the hunt, but as a result, they tend to mess it up. The lionesses are trying to stalk something and the cubs just have no technique or tact, and they come bumbling straight in and they upset the apple cart. I've seen it so many more times than I can count. Now that does frequently happen. Our lions have settled for now. They're going to be looking for their dinner shortly, which is something that Tundi doesn't have to do.